A couple of months ago, I uploaded a walkaway video that pretty much explained why I decided to no longer align myself with the Democrat side. I'm not someone that typically likes to virtue signal my business out into the world, uh, especially when it pertains to politics, but I felt that the 2020 election, it was important for me to be open about my decision just because of how nasty I saw people treating each other over something as simple as political affiliation. And if we're being honest, everyone knows that white conservatives just love it when they find a black woman who rejects identity politics, or at least that's what my leftist counterparts keep telling me. And trust me, they make sure to keep telling me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gothics, and today I'm back with a two month walk away update. When I first posted my video, a few of you noticed that I spent a little bit of time prefacing and basically apologizing to anyone that I would potentially offend because of my decision to walk away from the left. And in retrospect, me doing that, I think speaks volumes to exactly how intolerant freedom of thought is on that side. Initially, when my video went live, I didn't get many negative reactions until I went public with my decision to vote for Trump, which then prompted people to lose their absolute minds. But Gothics, you said you're a libertarian. Uh, actually what I said was my views align a lot with the libertarian side, but technically I'm still unaffiliated. I was misled by the Democrat side my entire life and you think I'm gonna commit to a new side in one summer? So yes, my views tend to align more with the libertarian side. However, I did vote for Trump in the 2020 election, but that's an entirely separate video. So if you're curious as to my reasonings for that, let me know in the comments below. By the way, this video is gonna be about my experiences and my experiences only. So please spare me with your whataboutisms. With that being said, I decided to go public with my choice because of how hostile I saw the left treating those who didn't pledge allegiance to Joe Biden. And it seems that those who actually stepped up to say something about it were automatically accused of shielding racists or being racist themselves. And as a streamer on twitch.tv, my inbox were filled with moderate or right-leaning streamers who were run off the platform or publicly shamed because of their political choice. I even had some people who just wanted to confide in me because they were scared to say anything in fear of being ostracized. That's right, you can be a law-abiding citizen, treat everyone with respect, feed the poor and clothe the homeless, but it's all game over if you don't vote blue. But I actually don't blame leftists for thinking or acting the way that they do. I already talk about how much the mainstream media frames their coverage to build their own narrative. So it isn't surprising to me that Trump rallies only seem to highlight white people or the Proud Boys while making a point to avoid giving minorities or LGBT supporters no airtime. I mean, how else do you convince an entire populace that only racists and white supremacists voted for the orange guy? Easy. Just ignore everyone else. But yes, I sacrificed myself to the wolves by publicizing my political choice in the hopes that I can help bridge a gap between what the public perceives Trump voters to be versus what Trump voters actually are. And I don't consider myself an activist by any means. I'm just a chick that's honestly fed up with identity politics. So I was prepared to take the heat and boy, oh boy, they did not hold back. I actually had a big chunk of the streaming community distance themselves from me because they didn't want to be associated with a Trump voter citing that it would be a PR nightmare. Yes. That's right, me voting for Trump would be a PR nightmare for another streamer, not because of their mediocre content or their shitty attitude. No, not that at all. <laughs> Which reminds me, let's actually take a moment to read through some of the most common insults that I've received after I went public with my political choice. So here we are, uh, suggesting that politicians are paying me to make these videos. Interesting. Accusing me of having internalized racism. Ever heard that one before? Being told that the only reason I'm growing on YouTube is because I cater to a white audience, which is really interesting because what would that classify as? What is a white, like what, what, what are you looking for? How are you coming to that conclusion? I think that's inherently racist in itself, is it not? Uh, labeling me as anti-black, oof. I've been accused of grifting, which basically means that I just say things just for the sake of making a buck. So what I'm saying right now to them has no merit. It doesn't actually mean anything. Uh, rationalizing my beliefs by suggesting my mother is white and that my boyfriend is also white. 
Mm. And then, of course, my favorite, suggesting that I don't care about human rights, specifically with the LGBT or racial equality. Yes, because me, a black woman, would love to see nothing more than to have my own rights taken away from myself. <laughs> Aside from that, I also learned that conspiracy theory is typically used to describe a topic that someone either didn't research thoroughly, if at all, or that propaganda is a fancy word to describe facts that contradict what someone believes. And if someone quotes Trump's good people on both sides or stand back and stand by to prove that he's a racist, it's usually a good indicator that this person needs to do their own research to find the truth instead of believing what the news tells them is the truth. And let's not forget that it's completely acceptable to be racist or a bully as long as you do it under the guise of anti-racism or anti-bullying. If one more person tries to convince me that I'm supposed to do something because I'm black, I am going to lose my mind. But I can't say that my experience has been entirely bad either. Going public with my decision has opened up a lot of doors for me, both mentally and professionally. On top of that, my desire to challenge the narrative has prompted lots of civil discussions between those who are still on the left and myself, which I think is amazing because I feel like society is losing the ability to communicate. Everyone's just so quick to shut down a conversation if it's too hard or too triggering to have. And although I don't have time to debate everyone in the comment section, I encourage you all to keep an open mind before writing someone off as a bad guy just because you don't like what they have to say. But I think the best part about my experience this far is how liberating it feels, how much more at ease I feel that I don't have to hide who I voted for or that I feel more comfortable challenging narratives like Black Lives Matter. Overall, I don't regret going public with my choice because it taught me to really own who I am and be comfortable making decisions that are best for me. I know a lot of you guys are probably going through the same thing, especially if you walked away this year, but I am here to tell you that it gets better. Trust me, it gets better. Surround yourself with those who are willing to keep an open mind and you'll be just fine. And that's it for this video. Do me a favor and hit this like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. My name is Gothics and I will see you in the next video.